My name's Thomas Bakernick. Paolo Gismondi. Megan Phillips. Josh Schultz. Sarah Catherine Monroe. So have you had an injury recently or have you ever been injured? Uh, I recently separated my shoulder as well. I suffered a concussion. Uh, I'm just coming back from an AC strain. Uh, yes, I tore my quad back to back and I tore my thumb. So currently I have a knee injury. Uh, it's not 100% what it is, but they think it's a meniscus tear. I'm still injured uh, from a broken leg that I suffered, uh, I think it was like six months ago now, I can't even remember. So has your injury taken you away from things you love to do? For sure. Like, not playing soccer five days a week has been really tough, and seeing my team play in games and not being able to get on the field is really hard for me. Yeah, it has. I've missed a total of seven hockey games. Yeah, I wasn't able to play soccer for almost a year and a half. Uh, definitely it's kept me sidelined uh, in sports as well as other things. Uh, kind of takes a toll on your body in the sense that you know when it happens you kind of kind of puts that fear factor in your mind that you know you hope to, to get back to the same level as you were before and um, it's definitely a long process in recovering but uh, at the end of the day keeps you sidelined for a few weeks, but they're definitely uh, necessary weeks to, to getting back to full strength. Are you afraid of getting re-injured? This injury's it got in my head, you know. I've got two young kids at home and a wife that works full time, and uh, you know, it really put me on the shelf, and I don't want to be back on that shelf. Yeah, of course. Um, especially going to university next year, I don't want to get injured now, and then be out again, because I've gotten myself so far. I'm definitely afraid of getting re-injured. I've had many knee injuries and problems throughout my life, so every time it gets re-injured, it just makes me more nervous for the future. You know, once something, you know, quite drastic like that in your life happens, it's definitely always in the back of your mind, but I think at the end of the day, you can't let fear override, you know, or, or let it stop you from doing what you love. Um, has your injury ever affected your mental health? And if so, how has it affected you as an individual? So it really has an effect on your mental health because you just want to be out there playing the game with your friends and having a great time. It did affect my mental health because I just I wasn't okay with sitting on the sideline and I wasn't able to participate, do any workout, like walking was even a struggle. So it was really hard for me to just watch other people get better when I decided to wait. Um, I think it's affected my physical health, which has like led to my mental health. So not being able to play for for a long period of time, like my anger builds up. I like to take out my anger on the field and it's a place for me to escape. So not having that outlet for me to go out and just forget about everything. 100% the injury I sustained in the spring affected my mental health. I, I fell into what you could call a funk, depression, whatever you want to call it. Um, it absolutely um, affected me negatively and it's something that I'm still kind of like working through to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, so, you know, I see it. I've been teaching at this at Bill Crothers since 08, 09, and I've seen it time and time again with with student athletes and, and how injuries can really affect them mentally. And, um, uh, you know, it's, it's tough and there's no real answer, but um, the best thing is to find the supports you need, not just physical supports like doctors and going for physio and things like that, but also mental supports. People you can talk to, psychologists, whoever it might be that can help you through your injury because, you know, a physical injury can become a mental one very quickly if you're someone who likes to be very active. It's not going to be easy, but I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. And so you got to change your mindset. All right, we got to stop looking at pain as if it's something negative. All right, listen to me. If it was easy, everybody would do it. No pain, no gain. But I guarantee you, if you can outlast pain, if you can get through that pain, if you can get through that discomfort, all right, if you can outlast that discomfort, I guarantee you, baby, on the other side of it is success.